What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another episode of Anime Wednesdays. Now, y'all already know, we just gonna go right into it because we got 12 songs and trust me, you know this is about to be a long, long one. So we got songs that are from last week. We got songs that are from this week. Hell, we even got a song that here that was from weeks ago, but you already know we try to show as much love we can to the nerdcore community so we about to check start this off with a uh, attack on titans aaron yeager rap with macro which is called rumble featuring nikki tracks so make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me and all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in video For the way, I got pilots on my plate. Shit to shake. You can't touch me. I got diamonds on my neck. Daddy no I got diamonds on my neck because literally, if I'm not mistaken, Aaron Yeager is the. If I'm not mistaken, he's the founding titan. So basically, hold on, y'all. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I saw that. But he's basically one of those times where his nape, nape, which where they cut off, which basically they cut off their neck and such. That way they get slayed and such. But I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he's probably the founding titan that has that metal plate. Hey, shit to shake. You can't touch me, I got diamonds on my neck. This is fake. Daddy knew I dominate. No mistake. Mm. Ain't no way you can escape. You ain't ready for mm -hmm. the rumble. Mm -hmm. Cause that's where Aaron's from. You'll be fighting for your life, you gon' die tonight. So this is what it takes to get your attention. I gotta do what's right for us. That's my only intention. Cause see, we suffered long enough. Why you counted your blessings? But now I'm laying down the hammer. I'm the one with the lessons. Yeah. Mm. You ain't ready for the rumble like I'm Jim Duggan. Plus I'm done with And you ain't ready for the rumble. Oh. Let's get ready to rumble with the lessons yeah and hey, you ain't ready for the rumble like i'm jim duggan mm. plus i'm done with being humble i'ma kill something so why you looking puzzled like you couldn't see it coming mm. when it was written in the walls you better start running because mm. yeah. even zeus feared the titans on the truth mm. filled with violence let me loose now they're frightened yeah to be honest that shocked me because i because throughout the entire thing i thought aaron was the good guy and zeus was the villain and in a sorts he was but then when we hear what the whole flip was and such boy did this did this ever make Aaron feel like an asshole after this he now he's the most hated bitch watch a titan round their necks till they're silent I'm a next you ain't ready for the way mm -hmm. I got pilots on my pick hey, right. Sorry, y'all. I don't know why this always happens. Next to the silent, I'm a next. You ain't ready for the rip. I got pilots on my pick. Shit to shake. You can't touch me. I got diamonds on my neck. This is fake. Daddy knew I dominate. No mistakes. Ain't no way you can't escape. You ain't ready. And to be honest, the fact that they said that Aaron Yeager was a accident at first. Sorry about that. Hold on. Let me see if I'm still reacting. Still recording or so. Because y'all already know with me. Look, for those who are looking in search, whenever I'm doing this, yeah, I gotta check. Yeah, I'm recording, so I'm good. So, yeah, sometimes I am paranoid when it comes to recording with OBS because sometimes OBS can be a bitch. Mm. 
like I said, when the fact that I started seeing that air, because I think, and the thing is, we should have all seen it coming the minute when Aaron Yeager started having like these weird, you can say, if look, if you watched That So Raven before, those little like visions where we see what happens in the future and such, that, that little moment where Aaron was kicking, kicking, <laughs> kissing Historica's hand, and then he got those shit those visions out of nowhere we should have known from the start i should have known from the start Aaron was going to be the guy bad guy in this because like i said it flipped me forward it twisted me for uh if it had a knife it twisted me all right because i never saw that coming and it's the i'm oh, sorry i gotta say about this when i was talking nikki tracks shout out to you you did your thing on this you you was rapping rapping but like I said, with Nikki Trex, he already he saw my comment. You saw my comment already right about when I said you guys need to be a collective. You, Kevin Bennett, and Macro, y'all three, I, all three of y'all. I'm swear, y'all need to be a collective. Cause y'all all, cause anytime when I'm seeing one of y'all songs, whether I be reacting to it or just seeing it, or y'all be talking about it, nine times out of ten it's gonna be either you guys. Just doing it singly, or when you're gonna have a feature, nine times out of ten, it's one of y'all being on the other person's songs, straight up. So, y'all three might as well be a collective. Hey, shout out to Macro, bro. I need to start reacting to you more because let's face it, from the many times I've heard you on like other nerdcore songs or cyphers and such, what can I say? You have you always steal it with your like melodies and such when it comes to the to them because you always bringing in that in a way that type of you can say like mainstream level of singing so yeah but shout out to y'all y'all did y'all think next song we got we got zach b my day featuring mcguire on his ep path of happiness and i see that he are he released another one so be on the lookout for that one but let's get it All around forever Till I find that person Ever could I word it I was sore and hurting And I had no idea If it's for a purpose Always felt a part of me Was sort of worthless And I saw my feelings I was short of and service I said, hey, I'm gonna get First of all Time out First of all With Zach he, with the, I will, Zach is always known as like Quote unquote What school phrase John calls him The voice of nerdcore Of anime rap Cause he just got that perfect rap voice where it doesn't sound corny. It sounds real as hell. And most people can like, and most people are like so attracted to it where you gotta listen to every single word he says. 
so that's why and plus many times when he does different flows and such different like rhymes and the thing is with his type of flow it's some you can always know where it's always going to be but nine times out of ten with zach he's more of like a he can say a nerdcore conscious rapper where he goes where he's more of like a storytelling type of vibe and trust me with me in a way i like music like that too don't get me wrong i still like the lit ones but sometimes sometimes not all the time you're always going to need a mute always going to need songs that makes you want to turn up sometimes you just want songs that makes you think of how certain things are in life no matter if it's based upon anime or whatever they put in no concern unless it's something better but i'll keep on searching all around for every time i find that person ever cut up word i was sore and hurting and i had no idea if it's for a purpose always felt the part of me was sort of worthless and i saw my feelings i was short and then the wire got they moving hey man and mcguire freaking mcguire man i'm telling y'all for those who know mcguire he is he's one of those underrated artists that bro he needs more recognition for sure i know he's been getting more but let's face it y'all need to y'all niggas need to stop sleeping on him because he got that voice where it, it's like this there's sir you've always hear people where they say that there are voices where you put them on any beat and they flow on it like ease. Zach and McGuire got that. Because they got those unique voices where you can put them on whether it's a storytelling vibe type of beat, a R and B type of beat, a hip hop type of beat, or any just basically one of those, right? And you can see how they and you can see how they voice just make it be fire. Especially Maguire. Mm -hmm. I've been good at goodbye, especially when having a look in your eyes. So many lows, so many highs. No, you can probably see through my disguise. Together forever, the moment I met you, there's nowhere else I'd be spending my time. You gave me a chance when you held my hand. I felt I was able to walk in the sky. Feel like nobody could stop me. I was a softie, I'm always falling, but then you caught me. Hearing you calling, but I always thought she's someone I wish she wanted to mock me. Not many people around you, shock. One that you win if I'm hearing you knock. And think what you want, but you watch me. Honestly, I'm getting sick of you talk. I was afraid to look down, just to face above the crowd. You and I could run the world, but what if we both hit the ground? That's the flow I'm talking about. That's that significant little flow right there. But that's the thing to where I feel like whenever it comes to a certain artist, right? In music, people might it's like this with people with critiques, they always are gonna say, Oh, you always use that same flow and such. Yes, it's the same flow. But come on, every single time when you hear it, you can't tell me you don't like it. So I don't for so for me, I don't care if a rapper has it used the flow so many times. It's the fact that whenever, because let's face it, if you, I'll, I'll admit, if you hear the flow every single time in every single song, then it might be a little, eh, eh. then sometimes it might not be excited as it is. But if you hit, but if saying that men and if he, sorry if I'm missing on my words, but basically what I'm trying to say is, if the rapper doesn't use the flow many times in his song, right, and the one time when he uses his his unique flow that everybody knows, out the many other times he's used it, if he uses it one time in a song that surprises you, like you said, damn, it's been a while since he used that flow. Then, right then and there, you know, that's how much of a good artist they are to me. I don't know about T.R., but to me, that's how you know you're a good artist. So that way, people always keep you fresh and such, especially with a flow they already know you use, but do they know? Hearing you calling, but I always thought she's some other way that you wanted to mock me. Not many people around you, shock. One that you win if I'm hearing you knock. Nah. Think what you want, but you watch me. Honestly, I'm getting sick of your talk. I was afraid to look down. Just the face above the crowd. Mm. You and 
I could run the world, but what if we both hit the ground? Mm. And now, so many years that we're lost and been found. Really just wish I could find a way out. But I'll keep you close, even if you don't. I can show you how to do it yourself. Paid attention to what I was told. Then my fullest before I got old. Even if the way they treat me is cold, there's only one of you I'd ever wanna hold. Go all in, they'll never see me fold. And I do what's needed, cause I'm in control. When I'm usually fleeing, never speaking, internal bleeding. Wish I was whole. And the thing is, literally, this what happened at work. One of my workers was saying was literally when I was at work today, right? At the time of this recording, right? It's 8.21 p.m. November 16th. So literally when I was going into work today, right? They were saying up somebody when and I was listening to some nerdcore music, right? They wondering what I'm she was wondering what I was listening to. Y'all think I and this is why I be people be thinking I be faking when I'm telling my stories. No. Literally, she asked me what I'm listening to. I told her it's nerdcore music, some anime rap. She literally said to me saying, Oh, my brother listens to that. I can never get into it. I literally shouted out to her, try it. You might like it because that's the thing with me literally from a year ago and such right i never know there was a it's like this one i never know nothing about no anime i just only watch cartoons at the time right now and plus i never know about any nerd courts i never knew about this nerd course scene from a year ago until right until when I started reacting to it more and listening to more of the songs from like a DPS, Rustage, Fable, like McGuire, Game Boy Jones, Schwabity, Connor Quest, Green Boy, everybody basically from Nerdcore, right? And you need to realize most of the times, whenever they, and that's suck, you know what? Let me, I don't want to make, I know this is going to be a long, reaction and all because it's an episode of anime wednesdays but i don't want to be eating too long so let me just save my point the point is ever since when i listen to nerdcore i feel like with this with this scene you always get new fresher music that is how it is to me So basically almost I'm basically almost done with all of these songs. It's just the last one and listen the last one that popped up today, like I said, was this one. So like I said, be on the lookout for when I react to that one. But either way, I'm telling you, with Zach with Zach B and McGuire, they got those unique voices where put them on a beat, put them on any different type of beat, and they crush it. So shout out to them too. But now we got Otaku Underworld and you can say a little bit of Rumble World. I want to know if Jamar Rose is still in on Rumble World because with the whole little nerd course, the nerd control situation that happened and such, he probably still is. He has to be. I don't know. But either way, we got a Sailor Moon rap, Yusaki. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Black Diamonds, Jamar Rose, and Dave D. Hey, let's get it. Girl, you so special. I don't move in no regular heifer. Mm -hmm. I won't play, baby. I always step up. Treat that girl mm -hmm. like she married from dresser. Dollar, I need to get it. Sailor, moon. I'm trying to get it when you switch your clothes up. Shorty done came out the sky, she glowed up. You my sailor, moon, sailor. Boom. I pull up in the touch when I say mm -hmm. I never fumble, no, I never play mm -hmm. Sail it, boom, sail it, boom Spin out too close to me, I swear that thing that you do Gotta hold of me, you mind Sail it, boom, back 
room in the back where you take me. My back room in the back, get the best rings. Pull it up, light it up, go on screen. And I swear she was thicker than coding. And I swear she was hot of this world. Not a thing I would do for you, girl. Every you hand, your feminine curls. You gon' light this thing up like a movie. I'm just hoping that you don't abuse me. Are you holding a lot? Yeah. This this the song for the ladies. The shit. Our, of course, it's all for the ladies, but hey, this for the ladies, ladies. Feminine curls, you gon' let it sing up like a movie. I'm just hoping that you don't abuse me. Now you holding mm. a lot on your shoulders. Mm. Any problem, you handle with beauty. On a dark night, if I look at the sky, just know that I see you. I know a couple of broads, they try their hardest, but they cannot be you. How did I get them? Mm. I can't even remember. Mm. I'm trying to focus, they like front in the center. Mm. She told me daddy come eat it like dinner. Mind getting foggy, last thing I remember. Hey, yo, what? She said, cup. She say, oh, she said, what again? I'm sorry. Front in the center. She told me daddy come eat it like dinner. My she told me daddy come eat it. She on some. If she ever says something like that, she on some freak time. That's she, foggy, last thing she on some Kevin Gates freak time right now. What the I hell? Remember, <laughs> up in the sheets, she made me surrender. And right after that, I swore to defend her. Girl, you so special. I don't move no regular mm -hmm. help. Yes, it won't play, baby. Mm -hmm. I always step up. Mm -hmm. Treat that girl like she married from dress yes, up. Dollar, I mm -hmm. need a sailor. Mm -hmm. Move. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get him when you switch him clothes. Mm -hmm. Shorty done came out the sky. She glowed up. You my sailor. Move. Mm -hmm. Sailor. Move. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I pull up in a text when I save you. I never fumble. No, I never play. Hey. Save Thing is, I ain't even watched Sailor Moon yet. Should I? I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Hey, not wrong with playing the kitty. And look, if my boss sees this, I because apparently, look, look here, they are apparently my men, apparently, people from my workplace watches my video. So if y'all here, so if y'all watching this, what the hell? Thank y'all for watching, but goddamn. <laughs> and also, if my boss is seeing this, yeah, Akila, stop using that goddamn whatever. Because <laughs> you be using that a lot. <laughs> if, if they see this, because some, because apparently they say they do watch this. If y'all do, what the hell y'all doing? <laughs> I'm First of all, shout out to y'all. Y'all did y'all thing, but it's like a prank. I don't know why, but anytime when y'all, when people in Nerdcore be doing some Sailor Moon raps, I don't know. Somehow they get they, f they get twice as freaky as any. S they be getting probably twice as freaky as hell. They already get freaky sometimes, but shit. When it comes to a Sailor Moon, I feel like that be the most freak and dress up darling too. They be getting twice as freaky whenever they doing songs for this one. I don't know. But hey, shout out to Otaku on the world. Y'all already know I rock with y'all. On to the next one now. Speaking of Otaku on the world again. Delta D's USC Yasora rap. Vulnerable. Let's get it. Leaves. 
so I'm holding on mm. You so cold, I feel the breeze while my coat is on mm. And it's like every day we beefing, girl, what's going on? Mm. Shawty, let me say my piece so I can show you that I'm vulnerable Yeah, I'm vulnerable mm. See, just handle me with care when I'm vulnerable And trust me, it's like this Hold on, let me say, you want to say your piece Delta, you said your piece, let me say my piece This is why most of the time we men do not want to say shit Cause just cause some of the times y'all women always want us to say that oh we so we supposed to be this man nah bitch sometimes we need y'all to and if any hoe we say y'all want to handle us with handle us with care y'all gonna say we pussy when nine times out of ten y'all females be doing the exact same thing too so I don't want to hear that so with all due respect for women who for all the women who ever saying that just because we show a little of our emotions. And you say that makes us bitches? Fuck y'all. Cause if anyhow the roles were reverse, 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 y'all be who gonna be looking like the bitches now? I'm sorry, but sometimes, you look, with me, what I don't deal with is right. Don't come at me with no freaking hypocrite shit. Cause I know I'm gonna be a hypocrite too. But when it comes to certain things. I'm a, trust me, I, trust me, some, nine times out of ten, I'm a hypocrite for certain things. But at least if I'm being a hypocrite, I'm going to own up to it. For other people, whenever they're being a hypocrite, when they're saying certain things to somebody, that irks me the wrong, that irks me a certain way. Because then, how am, I de how am I doing something that I see you literally just, whatever. <laughs> What's going on? Shawty, I didn't want to be. I did not want this song. Sorry, Delta, if you see me going on a little rant, but that's all mostly how it be. Case in point, with it's like this with Delta. He always know to. I've said if I haven't said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it for the first time. Delta is the type of nerdcore artist where, no matter if it's per, it's, if it's pertaining to the anime or the anime character. Let's face the facts. It's like this, right? When I saw in a post, right, with DZ8, he was saying like how, basically. The songs that be the every nerdcore artist makes and such, nine times out of ten, they be something that be really, really be them talking about certain things, whether it's pertaining to them or like the human human nature or whatnot. It just so happens it relates to one of the anime characters. And to be honest, let's face it, that is smart as hell. Cause let's face it, imagine like this. You see how Demon Slayer, right? Tanjiro. You see what happened in his life, right? There were literal demons who came to his family and messed them up. And now all of them is dead, right? Now, take that aspect into a rap, right? Saying I got these demons inside of me. Well, not saying they was if you would look it's hard for me to put it like that but basically with the way how they know how to put the words put lyrics together of how it can relate to the character and in human life trust me 
it's smart the only difference the only reason why most people won't say it's clickbaity or whatnot is because the AMV honestly take the AMV out of it and take the nerdcore aspect out of it if you want to you would realize right these are great songs the only reason why people say nerd, the nerdcore community is so I don't know like clickbaity or cringeworthy or whatnot to some me I don't think that at all me I always think like no matter what music you make to me if it has good lyrics good references where I can relate to it and a good beat and good rhythm and flow and all hey I like it on the side of all I'll be stronger for the bottom Cause I'm still learning, yo, I don't know when I I, 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 I'm trying to spend my life With you cause I don't trust, bitch yeah, You make it easy cause you ain't never trying to fuss with me You just want the truth, I agree, love should come with it But that shit all for me unless I'm way too drunk with it But I still get that shit to you cause I don't I don't want you to leave, so I'm holding on you so cold, I feel the breeze when my coat is on And it's like every day we beefing, girl, what's going on? Shawty, let me say my piece so I can show you that I'm vulnerable Yeah, I'm vulnerable Please just hit it, we will care when I'm vulnerable I get vulnerable for you, I'm vulnerable Just don't let no one know, yeah, when we be alone, then I'm vulnerable Hey, shout out to Delta Man. What can I say? Whenever they put out songs like, whenever songs like these makes me real, makes it real. Basically, you see more personality of me wise, get the real thoughts of me coming out and such. Cause shit, people. Cause like this, with certain things you want me, I always want to hold my tongue. But let's face the facts. Nine times out of ten in this world, you can't hold your tongue for shit. Honestly. Because in this world, sometimes there are certain things that when you see it, you can't just hold your tongue and just make it happen. You got to literally say something, but then sometimes it can work out in your favor, but other times it may fuck you up. And sorry if I'm cursing and such, but that's basically how most of the times how it is to me. But Delta, don't take my little rant and such out of it. This song was fire either way. So yeah, shout out to Delta. Now... We got ham sandwich. This but I know this is about to be as funny as hell with the witches of anime rap. Wisp, witch, bitch. <laughs> this is the name of the title. You cannot fault me for this title. Witch, bitch. <laughs> ham sandwich. Let's get it. A anime folk. Mm. Mm -hmm. We about to get some freaky ham. We about to get freaky ham on this. I need a wish bitch. <laughs> Waiver wanna grant a nigga wish bitch. I need a rider dino, I don't need a snitch bitch. No trick bitch. She disappeared and I'm without a witness. I'm feeling like I need a wish bitch. Shotty hop up on my broomstick with the quickness. First of all, it's like this. Throughout this entire song, I wanna say we can no freaking Well. How can I say no freaky? The song is literally called Wisp Witch Bitch. So trust me, with ham, it's like this. Anytime when Ham Sandwich is gonna go on a song, because he's done one for strong ladies, he's done one for the itty bitty titty ladies, he's done one for freaking, well, anime, of course, uh. I mean, for goodness, hell, he done one for ma magical girls. And when I mean magical girls, literally did one for like freaking the. Well, it's part of the tough lady. Though. Hell, even just this year, he did a fanboy, a fanboy cipher. So, look, nine times out of ten with him, he's just a man of the culture, I guess. So, I can't say no freaky, cause nigga. The me if you look at many freak ass songs this boy has done, can you say no freaky? Because as long as man, you know what? 
Let's get this. I need a wish fish. Waymer wanna grant a new wish fish. I need a rider dino, I don't need a snitch bitch. No trip bitch. She disappearing up without a witness. I'm feeling like I need a wish bitch. Charlie hop up on my broomstick with a quickness. I swear she cast a spell on me. I think I got a sickness. My mistress is mystic. But the way she handle my dick tip, got a young nigga feeling rich rich. Made a focus, she don't miss shit. Niggas wanna be on slick shit. Yo, the nigga full up with a stick, hit a nigga up and now a nigga miss miss. Nigga shoot for the misses and miss click. Nigga misses with all that mystery. Shit. You can't do it with a magic missile, pass a pistol, man of crystals, stack the symbols, cast a blast and crack his temple. Betty with a massive had a smack. Hold the fuck up, nigga. Nah. What the hell? I just thought he was just gonna come up here with his freakness, but then this nigga started. S even though it's still freaky as hell, but this nigga started snapping as hell. Hold up. Here's Rich, right here. She don't miss shit. Niggas wanna be on slick shit. Tell a nigga pull up with a stick, hit a nigga up, and now a nigga miss. This nigga shoot for the misses and miss click. Niggas shoot for the misses and miss click. Mm. You can miss us with all. You can miss us with all that mystery shit. Shout out that Scooby Dooby day. Scooby Doo. That mystery shit. You can't do with the magic missile. Pass the pistol, man. Crystal stack the symbols. Cast the blast and crack his temple. Betty with a massive hat. A smack a rash. You clap it back. The taps the land. I land it smooth. The sand is sand. It's smooth. I do my dance. She dancing to it. Move my head. She handed to me. Attitude. She has it too. Say hammy. New the band. You see natural beauty. Magic to me. Why you watch a Mac? Hope the fuck up, nigga. Look, like I said, y'all, I'm sorry if I'm cursing as much and all, but can you can you fault me if I'm cursing? This nigga going, this nigga going way too fast. I be what I be saying. I be saying to y'all, whenever these niggas do that fast rap, and even though I see the titles, and even though I'm seeing the words, let's face the facts. With or without the words on the screen, nigga, you going too fast for me to catch up. I had a smack around, she clap her back, the taps the land, I land it smooth, the sand, the sand is smooth, I do my dance, she dancing to it, move my head, she handed to me, attitude, she has it too, say hand me, do the band, you see natural beauty, magic to me, watch you watch him act, she a trapper, she ain't all black, she the type of woman, make a lame nigga go fall back, long list of these broke ass niggas, she ain't ever gonna call back, got a tall drink, got a broomstick, got a black cow with a tall hat, she's all that, she know, long staff, she potent, sipping on that potion, got a young nigga from Lotus, man, the gate ain't closing, lay lies, stay open, got my key flowing like ocean, see the sorcerer, yeah. Hope it yeah. I need a wish, bitch. Uh, Wait for one and grant a nigga wish, wish, bitch. I need a rider down. No, I don't need no snitch, bitch. No trick, bitch. She disappearing up without a witness. I'm feeling like yeah. I need a wish, bitch. Hey, tell me if you never wanted a witch, bitch. Like, tell me in look with all due respect to all women out there. Tell me if you never wanted a but for look in the aspect of this. I'm not calling I'm not calling all the women out there bitches. Just a few of them who act like they don't know it all and all. Act like they all that when they're really not. Just to those who are the bitches. Cause they those type of bitches giving women a give the real authentic woman the wrong name, giving them a bad look. So to them, fuck them. But to all the other women out there, the real, authentic, good looking, hard working real when i mean real independent i don't mean the ones who say i need an independent i'm independent i don't need no man but then literally but then literally go once but then when they want a man now they want them to do all eh, fuck out of here fuck all that but all i'm saying right tell me if you never for all my niggas out there tell me if you never wanted a woman like this a witch bitch like this who could just with a just wait for one and say fuck out of here nigga <laughs> wait this nigga hey i need a wish bitch shorty hop up on my wrist with a quickness that's what she cast a spell on me i think i got yeah, a sickness you want me for the riches she don't get this hey. she don't fuck with me i'm not with this hey maki i know she do pilates mm. she's showing me that body 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 she my way to win mm. i'm a saver mm. red you know she want my favorite reds mm. call her a gorilla how she gripping when i'm slaying it mm. Let's face it, but one thing with Maki, she may be strong, but god damn it, sometimes she not hearing, right? <laughs> but hey, who am I to talk? These bitches are what? If I'm not mistaken, uh, she's either a second gen or a third generation pyro pyrokinetic. Cause, but at the end of the day, the girl can, not only she can kick ass, but she got fire. She got She's like a generation. 
she's like a generation pyrotech would you mess with a woman you would you try to correct her when no she can kick your ass and put you on fire if she could hell no nah. no 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 first of all you see why i say i call him mr switcher because night time because with him is either you know know which style he's gonna do or which styles of rapping which flows and such he's gonna c combine because i've always say he's got the If I'm not mistaken, I forgot how I called it. Oh, he's got either the text-to-speech one, the, as we see now, the freaky-ass one, and he got the rapidly rap one, where he's that nigga nigga one, right? That's what I'm saying. So in this one, he combining the freaky one with the rapid rapid one. But either way, this nigga is snapping. Yes, sir. I'm branded, sipping a wizard brew. Yeah. Like I'm too rude. This shit is new to you, but I play. Yeah, yeah. I get hop in a million, pussy and drunk. I'm alive, just a hopping and drown again. Nigga, call her witch, you doing this? What's on my face? Like, cause I'm going down again. Got her looking like Mega Man after we bang bang. Had to carry her back out. Mm. Pillow, I'm blowing her back out. Lost my sauce, I ain't pulling the map out. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, this nigga him is something else. I'm not gonna lie to you. He can be, you know what? That's why we love him. This is why we like. This is why we rock with him, sandwich here, cause you never know what to expect from this nigga. Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, I can tell me, cause he has never steered me wrong whenever it comes to his songs. Whether he's doing the, cause how can you go from one of the songs that he did, like with, like for instance, right, with this one, the rundown one I react to, right? He has a cr good creative mind, right? Don't get it twisted. Man know how to do creative. He has creativity. But then when it comes to shit like this one, to be honest, either way, at the end of the day, the man is entertaining. That's all I can say. But shout out, so shout out to him and shout out to the loop. But either way, Let's get into the next song, which is the Kevin Bennett Master Roshi Freestyle Roshi. Let's get it. People be forgetting that you because this nigga loves to look at women downstairs. <laughs> People be forgetting this nigga is that nigga. Why you think he was the one who trained Goku? Yeah. Back me. See, I've been doing this a long time. Not many mm. people know that. You have? Mm. But it's true, I've been here. Really? Hey, hey. I don't believe it. Somebody go get me a cane mm. because I can't walk straight back anymore. All this weight mm. on top, my shoulders gonna keep my ass to the floor. Like mm. a Capricorn with how they see goats on bat with the horns. Mm. Like a Capricorn, I can see goats. Sea goats. With sea goats. On top, my shoulders gonna keep my ass to the floor yeah. like a Capricorn. Yeah. With how they see ghosts, I'm bad with the horn, yeah. so ain't nothing keeping me down unless I'm laying flat in the morgue. Yeah. If I wasn't mm. meant to keep up, what's the stamina for? What? Chase a motherfucker down and let out an animal roar. <clears throat> it's National Geographic, just let the camera record. When mm. I got out the womb, the doctor said, Man, my savage is born. Mm. Yeah, he, he gonna go into that. To be honest, I feel like I wish they could do, I wish most of the nerdcore artists would do this. Cause I want to hear them bars coming out of y'all. Not only relating to the, to be honest, I don't know, to be honest, I feel like it's just all fire. <clears throat> Sorry, little burp right there. But me, 
honestly but especially if you are going to do a freestyle i want y'all to just start it going in just come in with the bars no matter if it's anime bars or just bars bars in general just come with it come by the two if you have to National Geographic, just let the camera record. Whoa, when mm. I came out the womb, the doctor said, Man, my savage is born. Hey, slide a pair of shades on my face and mm. faded like radiant. Space mm. in a constellation, my craft is up in rotation. I'm basically mm. ancient, I'm aging and aching from this warfare. Don't act like you a soldier or patriot on some Brady shit. I'll mm. Tom Brady. Offensive when you can't touch my career. Don't make mm. me tamper with your bay, cause she can. Hold up, you got How you just go? You literally just did a whole Tom Brady football scheme right there. Offensive is offense. Offensive is offensive when you can't touch my career. Don't mm. make me Now go back, go back. My craft is up in rotation. I'm basically ancient. I'm aging and aching from this warfare. Don't act like you were so. Don't act like you were a soldier. Or a patriot on some. Or a patriot on some Brady shit. And that's where the rhyme. And that's where the scheme came in. Because then he says. Brady shit, offensive is offensive. Offensive is. Offensive is offensive. Talk it. Not only offensive as in, oh, you offended by me? Nah. You offended by what did I say? Nah. But then offensive as in offensive tackle and such. Offensive when you can't touch my career. Don't Football career. Make me tamper. And then don't make me tamper with your bay. Tamper bay. And then. With your bay, cause she can make a buccaneer. Cause she can make a buccaneer. Buccaneer temp. How you just gonna. He literally did flipped two that's why i rock with kit b kevin bennett the man just did two flips two word play well in a way one word play out of his out of tom brady two football team word plays out of this nigga's thing from this nigga because tom brady played for the New York, New England Patriots, and the Tempe book. He's playing for the Buccaneers. Mm. Here, take a look at you chumps in the mirror. Sickened by what they see, they got vomit chunks in their beard when their own reflection appears. Bitch, I'm Master Roshi. Mm. Yeah, a martial artist on the microphone. I can do violence when I get rhyming. Would you like to smoke? Feel mm. like I'm by myself on an island with flows you can never reach. If you come in close, you a pirate. You young rappers need to show your elders more respect. Don't be dying early, picking battles with immortal men. I'm really litty with literature. Do it. First of all, man. And the thing is, Kevin, you almost pushing thirty. You are almost thirty now. You twenty nine. You almost thirty. So you can't say you little young rappers. You're still kind of young. You're almost thirty. <laughs> But I'm literally, 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 lady with literature. Little rappers, literature, feet with liter, literature. They just gonna flip that nice little freaking night. I forgot a little. I forgot how it's called. If I'm not mistaken, it's called a homophobe. Basically, nice way of flipping literature right there. Lyrics written for the garbage can. Yeah. Mm. True. Mm. Stop littering. Mm. If it's meant for the trash, it's meant for the trash. Damn. Hey, back in. Let's go. All these grandfather grades mm. from grinding to get to greatness. Mm. Duct mm. my eyes wide open to stay awake when I'm chasing these wages up late at night and I'm caffeinated. I'm roasting mm. back in the AM composing tracks for the ages. Mm. They call me Hermit. I turned on my head and word on my curtains mm. immersed together. Disturbances all deterred when I work. Hold up, what? Curtains immersed together, disturbances all deterred mm. when I work. When I work, I'm twisting these work like I'm written in cursive. Because just me. And the thing is, I write in cursive through my entire life. It's crazy how I can write like that, but whenever I write straight, it looks weird to me. I don't know. Call me hermit, I turn on my head and word on my curtains immersed together. Disturbance is all deterred when I work. I'm twisting these words like I've written in cursive. Like grin and smirk of these nerds and their verbiage. Wasting ink on these verses, bitch. I'm permanent. Y'all is not erasing any legacies. I've been here forever. You should celebrate the elderly. I find that you're picking with this type of mister. Might just admit you right to assisted living for life. Not a crossing guard inside that's keeping me from slowing down. Just wasted on my shoulders. Now my knees are going out. But that's expected. Watch your geezer get clout. Why they taking rappers' heads half off? 
that's a senior discount. I what? Ah, that's fire. Hold up. Run that back. What you say? Back to watch a geezer get Watch a geezer get clout. clout. Why they taking rappers heads half? Why he taking rappers heads half off? Half off. That's a that senior, senior discount. That's your senior discount. Ah, that was fire. S discount as in like a senior discount what you give at a store, but mm. ah, Kevin, you are. Pause, but oh, hey. I'm a martial artist on the microphone. Mm. I can do violence when I get right. Would you like to smoke? Feel like I'm oh, you got a hook in yeah. Oh, you that was a this is the hook. Oh, you got a hook in your freestyle sheet. Oh, I can do violence when I get rhyming. Would you like to smoke? Feel like I'm by myself on an island with flows you can never reach. If you come in close, you a pirate. Young rappers need to show your elders more respect. Who dying early, picking battles with immortal men. And it's like this. That bar hits so different now because of two little instances that's happening, right? With one from, if y'all remember, Little Pump. Who's Little Pump? Exactly. <laughs> if y'all remember, when J. Cole literally said back in 2018 that he's, even though in that 1985 song, right, he was, even though he's saying some of the young rappers, let's face it, it was immediately aimed at Pump. Punk. Punk? Pump. You see why I can't even remember his name? But it was basically like this. With a hit, with Pump, that nigga was always, y'all remember we used to always listen to him? Yes, we all used to listen to that nigga Lil Pump. Don't don't fault y'all. Don't say that y'all never listened to his songs. Because the fuck yes y'all did. I know I did. But let's face it. He was just... he. Jacob was saying about how you ride it on trends. How your money is slow and you're trying to get lip tree. Be basically of how you always just ride it on the trend. How you are right now. But because of all these little... Things you're doing and such, your career is gonna go and such, and literally that's what Pump's career is right now. I'm not saying like it died or anything, but let's face it. But then this nigga wanna say like he didn't, he don't think he fall off, nigga. Your stuff, freak you have. You've been fall, you've been fell off for the past. That I would say the last three years, the last time you was relevant. Was in 2019 and when I say and it's like this when I say 2019 I don't mean like early 2019 or late 2019 my bitch I mean the rest all of 2019 you haven't been relevant for three years <laughs> and then 21 Savage don't get it twisted right I like 21 Savage music because he do be having his bars in there but he said a comment earlier around this time, like probably was today or yesterday or whatever, basically saying about how Nas is irrelevant and boy oh boy does, does the, as soon as when he said that, did the media ever go crazy? So trust me, when he's saying that bar about how you young rappers need to show your elderly respect, hey. Trust me, that's what that's why if I'm ever gonna say if I was ever a rapper, I don't care how much I may say I'm the best this and that at the end of the day. I know there were legendary rappers that paved the way for me to want to become one. Cause I may have came here easy, but they had to literally work their ass off. I'm working my ass off, but they literally had to came from the bottom, from the gutter to where they at now. So that's all I gotta say about that. Like I'm by myself on an island with flows you can never reach. If you come in close, you a pirate. You young rappers need to show your elders more respect. Don't go dying early, picking battles with a more than men. Nah, you already heard what I said. It's Master Roshi. Hey, be Kevin Bennett. You was yo. This is what we talking about. Look. For all my nerdcore rappers out there who's doing shit like for the Ken, like ones like the Kevin Bennett and such.
do y'all need to app it's like this the way how jamar rose stirred up some stuff of how y'all need to saying that he better than y'all and it's even though he was saying it's not a diss well it was a diss towards somebody but not to everybody it's like this pick up your pen and when i mean pick up your pen if y'all say y'all love doing y'all rapping and y'all not just a scam or anything because a lot of people are saying that that's how most of this nerdcore community is which to be honest nine times out of ten they get scams themselves but all i'm saying is right if y'all really are rappers rappers pick up y'all pen do a freestyle like this no matter which character it is go pick up a freestyle and just go i want to see if y'all can get barry as hell if y'all hearing me saying that that's my challenge to y'all no matter what freestyle you're doing whether it's a master watch this whether it's a master roshi freestyle from any other one or goku freestyle luffy freestyle don't care which one it is pick up your pen and go into it because i want to see if y'all can rap rap y'all can make songs y'all can make good anime rap songs but I want to see if y'all can actually freestyle like how this is. No matter if it's... I just want to see if y'all can come with bars, bars. That's all I got to say. But shout out to the Kevin Bennett. Next, we got... Oh, we got Otaku One World and Rumble World in this one. Intergalactic Rap right for a minute with Callum B featuring Peace King and King Marcel. Okay, King Marcel. My boy, come... Hey, I gotta give it to King Marshall, man. Cause from the mo it's like this, y'all. King Marshall, and I know you're gonna see this, bro. From the moment when I reacted to him from like months ago, right? From his first from the first song I reacted to, which was with Infinite Void. To see how he came to see how he was from there, in my perspective. He may have done this long, and I know you're gonna see this, King Marshall. Even though you've been doing this long, but for me personally, from the time he was there to how you are now, bro, man, what can I say? You just keep on going higher and, man, just keep on going, keep on grinding with your work ethic, man, because you already on a, because already you're on a song with like half of Otaku Underworld and you got into, and you're in Rumble World. Hey, you solidify. You solidifying yourself, man. So keep on doing what you're doing. Callum B, same to you and Peace King. Even though I haven't heard of you much. But still, either way. Everybody from Otaku on the world and Rumble World. Keep on doing what y'all doing, man. But let's get into this. Monsoon, emotions, monsoon. I'll be more that we doing today. Cut it on the moon, it's a solo day. Trying to hit I swear, I feel like I need to want to react. Now react. Watch this anime. As I see it's on Netflix. But I just want to know. Because nine times when it, nine times out of ten, right? I said this before. If I'm some of these Nerdcore songs, right? Even though when I even though they always be fire, right? Making me want to go watch some of these animes. I don't know. It's just sometimes. Even though the artist himself makes the song so fire, when it, and when it's time for me to go watch some of these animes, I don't know. I just don't know why. It sometimes it'll excite me, sometimes it won't. So I just want to. I want to know if it's the right ones for me to watch or so. So for this one, I want to know. But yeah. Hold on, Callan B. Did you watch? Was if you? I know you're watching my video. But were you watch? I know you're gonna watch your part in this one because I know you. I know that's how most of them do it whenever it's for these anime Wednesdays. But hold up, 
but is you just watching my early react did you just hear me reacting and if you're watching this entire thing you saw you heard what i said about the freestyle search what the hell but let's keep but see us buzzing like a paper mm. oh pager sorry because if you remember those little the little electronic things where it has a timer or something it's buzzing like a pager rappers ain't really got no no of course they are the data mm. I swear, Callen, Callen's flow on a song, bro. Bro, he, that is such like a vibey, I don't know. I, this is what and this is what I'm saying. Like with Zach, I said it before. With Zach B and McGuire, they got those voices where it's so unique. You gotta listen to what they gotta say, cause they be saying something that's really sticks to you. But with Kellen, his his is the type of voice where he still got bars. Don't get it twisted. But he just makes you want to just vibe out. He's the type of his type of music makes you re really want to just like you see right now, just light up on and. One, if you could. It don't really matter one way or another. Keep it true. Stay humble. I'm a ride for my brothers. Give a fuck about the others. I ain't never been a sucker. Just a topic of a supper. And that wonder gotta let my mom wonder. I'm just trying to clear the clutter. Keep it laid up. Send out prayers that I send down. Ain't nobody left out. I'm just trying to get crown king of the south. It got a ring to it now. Yeah, this is definitely the type of song where you need to just be in the right mood and such. Just be right, like you see the title, right for me, just, just be like this. Like that. <laughs> Just let me write for a minute. Now this shit is light, but I won't really nice to begin with the pain and the strife let the winner. So take this advice. Believe with the pen and polite, some could die in a matter of minutes. I stay in the death note. I rap a try me where his breath go. Chop sun like Reese, I let a clip go. Okay, this has gotta be peace. Peace King. Cause this nigga came in what nah. This 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 made me went from this to as soon as when I hear this voice, I like, <coughs> hold up, nigga. What the fuck? You just gonna come in here with bars and I ain't saying you trash or anything, but what the hell? This nigga just came in here saying, like, nah, nigga, y'all gonna hear me. <laughs> This light, but I won't really nice to begin with the pain and the strife let the winners. So take this advice. Nice. Believe with the pen of polite, some could die in a matter of minutes. I stay in the death note. A rapper tried me with his breath go. Chop song like Chop song like Reese. Reese, I let a clip. I let a kill it go. Reese let go. Shout out to Reese. Blood on the leaves if you fuck with the beat. I'm so good mm. shit niggas wish they was me. In the hood we've been valid as dollars OP. You should just be silent with while I'm okay. Mm. Otherwise I'm chilling. Yeah, I started this shit as a hero, but I'm trying to see myself become the villain. I mm. need the money, I need the power. I need a betty box that can devour. You make it wet up, arsenal rain. There is a chance you'll be caught in the showers. We are a Wait a minute. This sounds like it's King. Now, nah, hold up. So I'm thinking Peace King is probably the one doing the hook. King, if this is you who's doing this rapping right now, boy, you, you coming for heads, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I started this shit as a hero, but I'm trying to see myself become a villain. I need the money, I need the power. I need a betty box that can devour. You make it wet up, arsenal rain. There is a chance you'll be caught in the showers. We are revered, let's make it clear. My team could never compete with no cowards. We've been putting in the hours and hours. Rising from nothing, we gon' get our flowers. Yeah, we working and working. They see the progress, I see them hurting. We on our conquest, it ain't no contest. We are different, and of that I'm certain. They do a lot, but that shit isn't working. And they may, we bout to shine. And you earn yourself a halo if you reach it for what's mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Like super villain, what's to do in your new life? First of, yeah, this is the okay. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments below because I know y'all. Because trust me, if you, I be tagging some of these artists, so they gotta watch this. I know Callum B was the one who was rapping first, that's for damn sure. But King Marshall, if that was you who was talking about chop song like reads, I let, I let a clip go. If that was you, nigga. He was like, fuck this song trying to be about and such. You was trying to say your shit and did. <laughs> but that and if that was you, my boy, you came in aggressive. But with peace with this book. But with peace on this one, he was definitely on like nigga, you do you, you do you. Me, I'm just this high. <laughs> That's how he was on this one. Oh, taco or no more? Hey, shout out to Otaku Underworld, Rumble World, like I said, y'all coming in here with. Hey, I gotta say, with Otaku Under. The, these three groups, yes, y'all see my legs. I like to be comfortable in bed. Don't judge me. But I gotta say, with Otaku Underworld and Rumble World and Loop, them be the guys from these groups. Basically, in the nerdcore community, these three groups be coming out with the bangers. Ain't gonna lie. So, shout out to them. Next, we got Mix Williams, High Symbol, ne Never End the Broke Remix. Hold up. Let me check the description. I don't own this beat. I just. Oh, it's a good thing I rap. Went to the description. He's saying. I don't own this beat, I just want to rap over it. Simba, don't hate me. Who's Simba? Whoever Simba is, don't, don't follow me. Thank you. Yeah. All I ever wanted was to never end up broken. Yeah. <clears throat> Look. Life ain't never easy All about my cheddar but the music's never cheesy mm. It's on their tippy toes but they can't ever reach me Messing mm. with the family, get a two piece like bikinis My head is on a swivel cause the eyes be moving sneaky, huh? Mm. Honest, if your moves ain't making money then I'm leaving, huh? Rappers scared to feature with me, nervous, feeling queasy, huh? Fingers on the trigger, better pray I don't start squeezing, huh? Mm. Nigga, don't you see me, huh? School of hard knocks, I graduated with my cap and gown Used to move mm. methodical but a nigga moving faster now Never miss a shot, this pistol barking like a basset hound this pistol barking like a basket hound. Hey, I gotta say, and the thing with Mix is, right? Mix Williams, even technically you could say he's a, I wouldn't say he's a nerdcore rapper, but you gotta admit, anytime when he's featured on mostly like, whether it be a Dizzy 8 or a Daddy Fast Snaps, no matter, whether he's on a song, a nerdcore song or a cypher, can you, what can you say? He just knows how to put bars together and such. And trust me, and it's like I said, right? The time, literally when I asked him on one of my reactions, saying that does he watch anime and such or such, he said he watches a little. But most of his most of his songs and such are from real life experience or just how he's feeling. Don't get it twisted. I still love it either way, no matter if he's going to be on a cyber and such. But I got to say... With mix, hey, all I'm saying is, if you ever have a feature and it's mix on this feature, do not get offended or get mad when people saying that this nigga here is owning you on your own damn song. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, one. Do not get mad. 
Cause the eyes be moving sneaky yeah, you should've Promise known. if your moves ain't making money Then I'm leaving, huh mm. Rappers scared to feature with me Nervous, feeling queasy, huh mm. Niggas on the trigger Better pray I don't start squeezing, huh Nigga, don't you see me, huh School of hard knocks I graduated with my, my cap and gown Used to move methodical But a nigga moving faster yeah. now Never miss a shot This pistol barking like a basset hound mm. She want me to take her home She moving all that ass around I ain't mm. got no post game, nigga I ain't backing down Hate me way back then What goes around comes back around mm. Never saw myself as MVP but I can promise I ain't never fucking passing now You think that you the man, sit down Walking contradiction mm. I killed a game I love Ain't that some sick shit? I mm. heard you thought of this and mix Good thing he didn't risk that shit You talking about the past and not the present I ain't interested Said I'm only worried about the present That's a Christmas list I'm the man You just gonna flip a Christmas carol like that? Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future? The three ghosts You just gonna... The fact that he flipped that shit around. Shut up. And, and it's like this. Christmas is... We're almost around that Christmas season. Hey. How you just gonna flip up? How you just gonna flip a Christmas carol shit like that? What the hell? He different. Not the present, I ain't interested Said I'm only worried about the present That's a Christmas list mm. I'm the man, I keep my city lit Y'all niggas hypnotists Y'all worry mm. about my life I'ma need y'all to mind your businesses mm. Cold as fuck, I'm balling Game rolling off the fingertips George Gervin with the shit Don't take a lot despite the differences between mm. us They tried to sell me on a dream They said the grass was greener on the other side mm. See, I'm a motherfucking genius Y'all the other guys mm. And it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world And only some survive I'ma blow in front of all you guys Nigga, huh? Yeah Y'all a joke. All I ever wanted was to never end up broke. They say mm. that I'm an amateur, still rapping like a pro. All I ever wanted was to never mm. end up broke. Bro. Hey. It's like this. I know my series is called Anime Wednesdays, where mostly nerdcore artists just go on such. But I gotta admit, you can't you can't deny with Mix Williams. He's been even though he don't particularly call himself a nerdcore rapper you gotta admit <laughs> sorry most of the times when he's on a nerdcore song whether it be with just dizzy eight or any other song or any other artist you can't deny it. he kills it every single time so sorry. damn these hiccups so i have to put him in here so yeah but either way he killed it it was just a it was just a freaking <laughs> He just came in and got out just like that. So shout out to him. He did his thing. Next one we got Hala C G with new Genesis from that from the new new One Piece film Red. She did an English cover and a remix. We can choose the way oh. of our future. Try a brand new path if we change the world. If we change the world Why is that like about to march? Why is giving me such a K-pop type of vibe? <laughs> Go ahead. Say goodbye to everyone who stands against us. No one has the power to stop a change that comes through music. No, you can't stop magic. Close your eyes and you can see the future before you. Every note I sing is bringing you closer to your purpose. Once you're there. I don't give a freak what anybody have to say. If you somehow this is what can I say? Shit like this is just make it's infection. 
it may be K-pop, but let's face it, most of these songs today have this type of feeling where it's just make you want to do this. <laughs> Even though you're a black person, tell me if you didn't hear a song like this and such. Even if it's supposed to be anime based on all, come on. Tell nigga, you cannot tell me you don't want to do a look this way. <laughs> it took a stand on that shit. <laughs> You know who would have been great on this one if she would have featured it? Maguire. <laughs> To everything that's weighing you down Trans and past reality The colorful worlds of music We need to keep on rising Whoa, close your eyes and take my hand We're running together We We're not even Well, probably Rustage Rustage? Well, his type His voice is deep Pause He got a deep voice and such I don't know if he would Maybe but Maguire, for shit sure. We don't have to live like this, I know we can all do better. Mm. I sing for liberation. Ah, you wanna play a real game of all the chain melody lighting up the path and new horizons. Don't wanna cry, don't wanna try, wanna. And I don't know why Schwabic. Look, I've been watching other nerdcore reactors do reactions and such. I don't know why Schwabity always give Renhala CG so much hate on her singing. And I guess it's not for all the time and such, just few little times. Or mostly not when she's like singing, when she's like rapping or so. I don't know why. It just sounds good to me. It sounds good. It sounds good. I can already picture this song being on such a like freaking new movie where I wouldn't say it's like a too much happy and such, but what can I say? I saw this song could definitely I mean it's like this. If you see the title, it's called New Genesis. And what does Genesis remind you of? The Bible. Where literally the first chapter in it is Genesis, so Literally, it could be about a whole new, basically a whole new world, right? Because literally in the first Genesis and such, it talks about how a new world and such. So, the fact, you cannot tell, and I was saying earlier about how if you, it has a way of tying in not only new, not only like human nature and such with a certain char anime character and such. Tell me the... You see how this ties into how the Bible is? When she was saying about how trying to bring out a brand new things and this and that. That's literally how the Genesis, that's literally how the Bible is when it comes to the Genesis part. Talking about a new world and such, right? So, how can they say you don't, how can people say that this shit, that nerdcore anime rap and such is just, y'all be wanting to hear about them guns and so much. Y'all want to hear about gun shit and such and saying, I got this bitch and he did it. And look, like I said, I like a little ignorant here and there, right? Ignorance here and there, right? But come on, man. There's there's more other music out there that has other different ways of getting you lit more than just the gun shit and all that. That's how I feel. So I don't give a damn if y'all find me weird. If it's if y'all look at me a certain way, point is. I would rather listen to this more 
than most nerd than most like mainstream songs that's always gonna talk about done this or I put the bit in the situation. Cause at the end of the day, nigga. Which one you rather want? Something more new, more experience, or just the same old shit you always gonna hear? Exactly. Right. Maybe two. Make you just want to do this. Tell me throughout that entire song he wasn't doing this. <laughs> just wanted to do the casting all the time. Hey, I gotta say that one was just that was that was a nice one. I ain't gonna lie, it made me want to do this. I don't care what anybody say. Songs like that and such, even though you might say it's all happy dappy and all, come on man. Look, in this like she's saying about a brand new world, trust me. Cause currently shit in this world certain things may make you happy certain things make you sad certain things just make you in the middle so sometimes you need songs like this making you very happy so hey hello shout out to you next we got now a lloyd forger rap family over everything politicus featuring jhb boss and mir blackwell shout out to the loop as we do First of all, that flow right there. Da 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 I be telling y'all, when certain rappers commit to a flow off the first start. Hold on, let me clear my ear up. My ear itching. I be saying right. That went. Oops. Sorry if y'all saw that. But when certain rappers stick to a flow throughout a certain section of the song, no matter if it's the first, middle, or the end, god damn it, y'all go crazy. But that hurt that flow though, hold on. Ain't even got rings, but you can't see me. You just gonna put a John Cena quote, John Cena lyric right there. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. as Woofers calls him, that smiling assassin. <laughs> Mm. Bro, you gonna vent or it's ventilation? Saying that nigga, you can talk all you want. It's either you talk your shit or you gonna be it. You can vent it out all you want or you can just stay there. Shut the fuck up. Mm. Leave two O's. I'm bound with this flow now. The name is Bond. James Bond. Hey, like I said, shout out to the loop. This what I'm this what I be saying about with loop. They be having the bangers that were to be honest, you can like I would say Otaku on the world brings like energy and such with loop, they bring the vibe. That's what I gotta say. Otaku on the world, they bring the energy and the basically like the energy and such with loop, they bring the vibe. But then again, Otaku World can bring a vibe to it. But it's like a different type of vibe. But this one, this is like that mainstream like level vibe where it just makes you want to do, makes you dance, get lady with your friends and such. In a way like that. But, but can I, I can say the exact same thing for, look, at the end of the day, they two, these, the two, the three groups, Otaku Wonder World, Loop, and Rumble World, <laughs> sorry, they all live. So shout out to them. Next, last one. Well, not last one, two more, which is this one it's Contrast Cyber Freak. Dude, even though you were a little late and all, or maybe I was late. No, actually, your ass was late. Because, bro, Contrast, you was late as hell, bro. It took you this long to make a cyberpunk song. Why didn't you make it by. Why wasn't you making it at the start of October? Cause goddamn, as soon as when that came out, cause it was like this, right? Cyberpunk Edge Runners came first cut out on September 18th of this year, right? Within two weeks or so, right? Cyberpunk song, cyberpunk song, cyberpunk song, cyberpunk song, cyberpunk song, cyberpunk. Like that's when you know, and cause let's face it, there wasn't a time. There was never much just freaking cyberpunk songs coming out within a weekend or so it wasn't a this it wasn't like that much surgeon of songs and such of the same show since like freaking jujitsu kaisen i gotta say that nigga damn shit was just popping out like it was pimples just boop, 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 boop. so hey even though he was late do i complain am i not I'm not complaining about you being late. I'm just saying, how should I be talking? The amount of times, what can I say? If, if you want to do it, be my guest. But look here, enough of me rambling and such. I'll be rambling too much. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Sorry. Cyber Freak. Mm. Show to you, she get back, get back, get back, cause you too mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
be a slut. She must sub a free, she online. She don't spin her webs, now I'm tired. Contrast. I swear. I'll be telling y'all with Contrast, he's just in a different lane when it comes to this nerdcore. It's like he has a way of combining the net the anime as that like anime preference and such like references and whatnot oh, sorry combining with the anime references just with like the level of making songs bars and rhyme schemes and all that and make it into one banger of a song Baby, I slide. She must have a free she online. She gon' spin her webs now. I'm tight. Call me internet at all times. She my virus poison my mind. I feel very feeling in my eyes. She gon' suffocate my inside. She hacking at me with a crime. Got me hypnotized. My big shot. She on the guy. I been hot. They don't want no eye to eye. I peel off like Bernie Blake. We outlaw. She poison. Poison. I'm a vein. She poison. Poison. All the boys they avoid it. Avoid it. Hey, hold up. First of all, I did not catch. If y'all remember, right? I used to do uh, another little series called AMV Mondays where I just react to all the AMVs out there that were like, because let's face it, if it what like I, I said it before, right? I said it, I was saying it in that where if it wasn't because for the nerdcore, right? For the most, all the all the nerdcore songs they're all fire but what makes it more 10 times more fire is from the creativity of each a and v for me because let's face it as much as the nerdcore artists makes up the song make it fire the people who do like the amvs and such make it 10 times 10 times more fire for the song make it 10 times more better and you cannot deny it if it wasn't for certain amvs like that with the weight because trust me just as much as how many how people think it's an easy bag just to just slap on an amv and just put on a song that's mostly anim nigga this ain't the mainstream okay where they could just put on a song like that nah nigga they actually put their time and effort into each song. Hell, even with Ham Sandwich, like I was saying and such. Because even though that nigga was going, even though when he be making them freaky ass songs, don't get it twisted. You don't think he will find a way how to make it. You don't think he just finds a way how. He, ch he doesn't just do it just to, for the hell of it. He, even if it sounds funny, it's like this. No matter if it's a freaky song, no matter if it's a serious song, each of these nerdcore artists, they take the time and effort and such into each little song they put. No matter if it's a freaky, no matter if it's a hard song, no matter if it's they're trying to make a banger, lit, somber, R&B, no matter which one, right? They have to put in the time and effort. And I'm not trying to say most mainstream artists don't do that too. But let's face it. People give them, people give most of the nerdcore community slack for just saying that, oh, they, that they doing this for an easy bag. Nigga, if that was the case, do you know, do you know how many of these mainstream artists here, if they was doing that type of shit, they could be rich? But nah, the anime rap scene, the nerdcore community scene, they ain't like that. So, case in point, what I gotta say is, the nerdcore scene makes way more moves and much more banger music than how most mainstream artists think like they do it and such cause let's face it certain shit they certain sh nine times out of ten people when they talking about the mainstream artists like if it's a 21 savage or like i was saying with 21 savage and little pump do you think most of the times they'll be saying oh their music is just so fine they'll be saying that look Few little times they be saying that, but most, but mostly what they mostly talk about is what they're saying in the media. So yeah, sorry that turned to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
But basically what I was trying to say in that whole entire thing is the AMV, them little nice little transitions of how it turns into that. I love that. This is definitely for a club, bang. Short and sweet and fire as hell. Shout out to Contrast, man. Keep on coming with them bangers. But now to end off this AMV, AMV, sorry, mainstream. God damn it. Look here, y'all. Don't give me, don't give me sleep, man. Sometimes I'm tired. Give me a break. Please, anime. To end off this anime Wednesday's episode, Cam Steady, the car, dark, rock, drop dead. Let's get it. I don't know. I, that time, that wasn't me trying to forget it. The certain names and such, I fuck up. So, yeah. Dark high, so. Mm. I'm a master of amalgamation of the talent, hatred, and the callous places where motherfuckers down the way to the McCallum Saints as I down the Hold the fuck up, nigga. I hear a little bit. I won't say I hear a little bit. Cause this is so sorry. Damn it, sorry. Clicked on the mouse. But all of that is says, right? Ever since when Cam's Cam went from video game rap battles all the way into Cam Steady, you can definitely see like he is way more comfortable now as being Cam Steady than he is as video game rap battles. Not to say that all the rap battles he always done or like all the Pokemon Cyphers he mostly do and such. I seen those on fire. But all I'm saying is you can hear the comfort in a way I can hear more of the comfortability of when he's doing Cam Steady Cam Steady. Not just video game rap battles. Which is like this with me. I like either ones, but to me, if you want to come into me, I like more of Camp Steady. <laughs> And in a way, in this one, oh, trust me, with Cam, he makes sure whenever he's putting out a song, he makes sure that if he's going to want people to want to, because it's like this, he's performing at NPC next year, right? So, you know, for songs that he's going to make, he's going to make sure that everybody is, he makes, he's going to make sure that one, no matter if he's no matter if it's one of his songs or he's featured on a song, he's gonna make a chorus or a song, positively a chorus, that's gonna make so much excitement and such, nigga. You, you is not gonna wanna. You is not taking a break. Your voice is gonna be gone. <laughs> I'm a 
faces Left out by the shroud of faces I'm a master of amalgamation Of the talent, hatred, and the callous places Where a motherfucker's down and wasted The metallic saints This is not down and without the chase Until I'm found blacked out in a crowd of Vegas And the DT scream to my brows are raking So I drink these drinks till I'm down sedated and I'm I can't take my life till I take the game. If I'm losing dreaming, it's a nightmare all the same. I can't feel the light till I feel the pain. Will I open up my eyes another day? But I never wanna die. But I never ever wanna wake up. Take me to a cemetery, bury me in fake love. Carry me to bed, I had enough. But I never wanna die. But I never ever wanna wake up. Fall in a dream, I'll never leave. I know damn well he's not about to say this chorus. If he says the chorus, if he says the name of the title two more times, yeah, this is a chorus. But shit, sure, this is gonna be a song where next year he's definitely gonna perform this one. Follow me to sleep and be a fantasy, we'll make love. Uh, Yep. Let me just take my rest. Hey, what is the point of this shit? I gotta say, in this one, now nah, let me let me straighten myself up real nice here for a sec. Yeah, I don't care if I'm in bed, y'all y'all still like watching me react. So screw it. I don't care if y'all get offended or not. But I gotta say this: what the ever loving hell, Pam? I'm. I be feeling like with Cam, he has a way of making you just, sorry, just be like, nigga. Like, I want to know what's, I be, it's like this. With Peso Pete, when you come into a Peso Pete song, you, oh, <coughs> sorry, even though he's unorthodox with the way how he raps, or how he does his rapping in the general of it you know what to expect but with cam you expect the screaming for shit sure same thing with peso but with what he's rapping about it could be either just to entertain or make you think and nine times out of ten Kind of like the way how he does this one, where he's just he gives you like an entertaining hook, but then whenever it's time to start rapping and such, he gives you that rapping where sometimes you just want to think. <laughs> I'm famous for rage and I'm um, wait what you said? Hold on. What is the point of this shit? I'm famous I'm famous for rage. For rage and I'm rich when I'm pissed. And I'm rich when I'm pissed. Mm. I'm famous for rage and I'm rich when I'm pissed. Piss. In a way, I could like want to connect it to I I show sp sp speed. Don't don't question why I say that that, but in a way, I feel like that's how most artists are and such. That most of the times when people say that they're famous or so, you kind of get the reason why they're famous. And in a way, with Cam, in Nerdcore, I feel like the reason why people know him for so much. Mostly because of his screams. <laughs> uh, the sun's in the sky, my flesh. 
point in the dish here. I'm famous for rich and I'm rich when I'm pissed. I hate that I'm given this glut and this gift. I used to train and get fit, now this weight on my chest is too great in the lift. This gig is degrading, forsaking my feelings for clicks. So mm. it's the substance, the silence, the sickness I'm with. Mm. No, I can't take my life till I take the game. Mm. If I'm lucid dreaming, it's a nightmare all the same. This little part right here, he sounds like he channeling corpse husband. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, when he performs, when he performs next year at NPC, all I can say is, and I know he's probably going to perform this song, people are going to bang their freaking heads off on this one. But hey, shout out to everybody on this list, man, because y'all went crazy. Y'all let me know which part of this song, which part of these songs y'all liked and such. Shout out to all, like I said, the Nerdcore artist was on this, man. It's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Make sure to follow me on all my socials up there. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man, because I want to get to that 1K. But like I said, it's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.